for centuries. The spinning wheel of the three fates has disrupted the lives of both my enemies and my allies. The spinners succeeded one another, winding out the thread of fate to the point of becoming crazed and murderous. Until the demon hunters got their hands on it, and then lost it. According to my informers, the village of Purstone has recently lost some young women in mysterious and bloody circumstances. Could it be the work of the spinning wheel? My disciples will go to have a look. My disciples arrive in Pearstone, where a sweet aroma of death covers the village. Guided by the fragrance of a murder, and with all the necessary precautions demanded of a delicious treat, they open the door of a recently abandoned house. Patches of blood stain the walls and the floors. In the middle of the red discoloring, bright strands torn from a ball of thread. The spinning wheel of the fates had truly been there. Local Hicks, in a state of shock, confirmed that the three women of the household had died after a night of terror. The father had left the village in a hurry, his cart heavily laden. He had taken the road towards the graveyard of Cork. Soon the humans will all bow down before me. Scream as Terribly sorry, but it seems your time has come. What game are we playing? Who shall die tonight? Seems I got carried away. I'm listening, master. I feed in the darkness. What game of I want to Rotten with fire. Yeah. 
No one stands against the Prince of Hell. I'm parched. What game are we playing? A short respite is in order. Mirror, mirror. Who shall die to... Hmm. <laughs> Fight is in order. Who should I kill? I'm surprised any humans were able to survive the fetid vapors of this swamp. Ah, a conductor of souls. All those innocent souls I harvested will finally be of use. With that, the humans will finally submit to my yoke.
waters of the Styx up. What a charming valley. Hmm. My disciples will have to fix that. Souls rotten with vice. Oh, this. Really? It's for me? Really? It's for me? Terribly sorry, but it seems your time has come. What game are we playing? Mirror, mirror. Who shall die tonight? Submit must die. Souls rotten with fire. Keep crowding together, humans. You're making my job easier. What are my orders? You give the orders, I carry them out. I defile, I corrupt, I pervert. It's not my head, but it'll do. Knowledge is power. Not my head, but it'll do. This cemetery reeks of carrion. What a delicious. The gravedigger is packing down the earth on freshly dug graves when my disciples enter the graveyard of Cork. The old man raises his head. 
wipes his eyes reddened by grief and immediately recognizes my agents for what they are. He throws himself to his knees, pleading that they spare his soul. In vain, because I have no interest in clear heads, they never succumb to my enticements. Only the one with the spinning wheel interests me. The gravedigger points in the direction of an isolated hut where the man had gone after entrusting him with two corpses. When my disciples leave him, he whispers to himself, the Sanctuary Lumen and the Devil are chasing after a mere spinning wheel. If only he knew. Soon the humans will all bow down before me. Be on your guard, disciples. Even you are not impervious to the snares of this swamp. This sacrifice will make one of you more powerful. But who will I choose? With that, the humans will find... This forest isn't so terrifying. Not yet. I'm terribly sorry, but it seems your time has come. Mira, Mira. Who shall die tonight? I'm parched. It seems I got carried away. It seems I got carried away. I'm parched. Your end is near. for my omnipotence. Choose 
quickly. Evil will not spread by itself. Finally! The nightmare is only beginning. Really? It's for me! These relics are potent enough to contain my power. The Conductor of Souls finally deigns to show himself. Don't make him wait. Choose quickly. Evil will not spread. You shall not leave until all the mortals in this region... Heads will roll tonight. Mirror, mirror. Who shall die to... <laughs> Dirt tastes like... Oh, you're going to love it! Huh. Should I kill? Game are we playing? <laughs> 
Who should I kill? I'm listening, Mark. Fragment of power for my disciples. The waters of the sticks of their time is counted. This rattle isn't worthy of my presence. What game are we playing? <laughs> Who should I kill? I always aim for the head. Those who resist me. And to think that such a powerful relic was hidden in this rat hole.
Inside the shack hidden in the forest, a man lies in agony. On his body, the admirable work of the Sanctua Lumen's interrogators has left seeping wounds. He doesn't have long to live. My disciples search the place without paying any attention to his suffering. However, when it becomes clear that the spinning wheel is not there, they turn to the man. He is breathing with difficulty, and his words are spoken with an almost inaudible voice. That is no trouble for my disciples, who can even hear the whispers of death. The man urges them to go to a nearby mill. My influence is growing. 